live from the George Finney Stadium at Trestle Field for what should be the biggest game of the entire 2022 D3 college football season. Today, the Ball and Wallace Yellow Jackets play the Mount Union Purple Raiders. Number two in the country are the Purple Raiders. We are unranked. But man, oh man, could this be a big game for us as we try to do the unthinkable and improbable and beat Mount Union. Spirits are high right now. One can only hope they continue throughout the day. But for 60 minutes and about 31 and a half minutes, of course, there will be the, what do you call it, pregame ceremony with the seniors because it is senior day as the uh, video does say as we are all ready for this one i hope you're all set because this should be a good one hello everybody up top the bleachers i'm tommy in room for time room sports live remind you to hit the like button Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon because you need to know the next time we go live right here on YouTube. Oh boy, oh boy, this is the biggest game in the entire D3 season. You always dream of playing Mount Union. They're the evil empire. They're the Alabama Crimson Tide of D3 football, except if Alabama never lost because, of course, they've lost to Tennessee at LSU earlier this season. Mount Union, their last regular season loss came in 2016 to John Carroll. They're riding high, a 53-game winning streak, 27, let's think, 95 to 2014, 10 to 2014 is 20, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. Riding a 26-game winning streak against the Yellow Jackets, but this year the Brown and Gold Brigade won't make it. I want to flip the script. I want to pick up the big win. It should be fun. Days like these are very uncommon in D3 football, very uncommon in college football in general. So let's sit down, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. The BWL Jackets come in here at a 7-2 record, 7-1 in the Ohio Athletic Conference. The Purple Raiders are unsurprisingly 9-0, 8-0 in OAC play. Whereas we are, of course, as mentioned a few seconds ago, 7-2, 7-1. OAC standings have just dropped. It looks a little like that. We need a big win from Otterbein over John Carroll. It looks highly unlikely, but if it happens and if we beat Mount Union, then we will be the Ohio Athletic Conference champions, which would be absolutely crazy to believe. That hasn't happened since 1994, which was the last time we took down the Purple Raiders. And that was at Kerr Stadium. 1991 was the last time it happened here. And I will apologize in advance for the shaky screen. It is just that it is very cold out here today. Weather in the 30s. Didn't think this through. Threw on a suit today because uh, well, we're playing Mount Union. That's a huge deal. That was a big deal. As you can tell, it's Seniors Day and also Military Appreciation Day because yesterday was Veterans Day. So huge shout out. To all of those who served our country, I'm pretty sure everybody, regardless of our uh, political beliefs, can all agree we are very blessed or lucky to have these men and women who serve our country. So thank you to all of them, especially on this Veterans Day, well, post-Veterans Day, the day after Veterans Day. Mountain Union season so far, well, it's looked a little like this. Steamrolling after steamrolling after steamrolling. 65 nothing to Defiance. They beat Marietta by a final score of 55 to 7. They won, or they won, excuse me, 59 nothing to Muskingum. 45 nothing ONU. 
28 to 6 to Berg, 49 14 to Capitals, 63 3 Wilmington, 59 nothing to Otterbein. Barely beat John Carroll, 34 28, and what was a very close game. Mount Union jumped out to a large lead out there, but it ended up being a small lead, a six point lead. And meanwhile, for the Brown and Gold Brigade, the seasons looked like this. Started off a little rocky, one and two, with barely beating Wilmington and dropping tough ones to Mount St. Joe's and John Carroll. But ever since, it's been win after win after win. We've been relying on the wing and a prayer, I guess one might say. Coming back to beat ONU, somehow rallying to stun Marietta, beating Muskingum and Otterbein pretty handily, same with Capital. And then rallying from 13 down to beat Heidelberg in overtime by connecting on a game-winning two-point conversion out at Tiffin. Of any alcoholic beverage in or within the confines of the Trussell Field and the George Finney Stadium. Fans are still piling and filing their way in. We can only assume that if we win, the fans will rush the field. But then again, that's an if we win. in the stadium or on campus. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. A lot of recruits out here today, so a big win over these Yellow Jackets, or over these Purple Raiders, excuse me. Where are the Yellow Jackets? <laughs> that would be great. We have 17 seniors out here for the Yellow Jackets. Can the oldest and greatest university in America do in the senior day pregame festivities, please report to the south end zone and pick up your flowers. Once again, if you are participating in the senior day pregame festivities, please report to the south end zone, that's the one with the big scoreboard, to pick up your flowers for the festivities. Thank you. Of course, the flowers are rather right there, past there. You know, one of the entrances. Yes. To my surprise, there is nothing in the team shop. I honestly do not know why there isn't anything in the team shop, but I guess that's how it rolls sometimes. Good afternoon and welcome to the George City Stadium, the home of Yellow Jacket Football for today's Ohio Athletic Conference Seniors Day and Veterans Appreciation Day game between the number two nationally ranked University of Mount Union Purple Raiders and your Baldwin Wallace University Yellow Jackets. I'm going to be yelling a lot, by the way, right here. What? What's your ticket number? Oh, uh, I, you've been freezing the whole day. I know. I'm live streaming today. Okay. I'm going to be yelling a lot. You're probably good. You're probably good. Thanks. Okay. We're with Coach Hogan. All right. So 17 seniors about to be honored here today. What should be a good game between your Yellow Jackets and those Purple Raiders. Everything looks much better in brown and gold rather than purple and white. I'm pretty sure everybody knew that by now. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the ball on the side of the field. Before we begin this afternoon's game, we'd like to take the opportunity to recognize 17 senior student-athletes 
on completing their outstanding athletic careers at the university. Andrew Bortz is a wide receiver. Andrew Bortz is a wide receiver and, and holder from Madison, Ohio. He is accompanied today by his parents, Charles and Kim. Aeneas Cohen is an offensive lineman from Jacksonville, Florida. He is accompanied today by his mother, Alara. Noah Costantino is a wide receiver from Akron, Ohio. He is accompanied today by his father, Jared. Gino Ferrano is a running back. Is a running back from Chesterland, Ohio. He is accompanied today by his parents, Joe and Karen. Gino Ferrano is a running back from Chesterland, Ohio. He is accompanied today by his parents, Joe and Karen. Jake Hill is a defensive back from Wesley Chapel, Florida. He is accompanied today by his parents, Dave and Stacy, and his brothers, David and Patrick, and sister. I'm going to be yelling a lot today, so heads up for right, that. Sweet. Anthony Kendall I is an all-OAC and academic all-OAC defensive back from Port Ritchie, Florida. He is accompanied today by his parents, Andre and Cassidy. Brothers Andre, Amari, and Arion, and girlfriend Skyler. Max Lambert is a tight end and short snapper from Chesterfield, Michigan. He is accompanied today by his mother, Angela. George Newcomb is an all-OAC and academic all-OAC offensive lineman from West Seneca, New York. He is accompanied today by his parents, Terry and Paula, and brother Michael. Jake Novak is an academic all-OAC receiver from Oregon, Ohio. He is accompanied today by his parents, Scott and Patty. Dylan O'Donoghue is a linebacker from Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. He is accompanied today by his parents, Timothy and Teresa. Max Simpson is a linebacker from Painesville, Ohio. He is accompanied today by his parents, Bob and Terry. Devin Slocum is a defensive lineman from Cincinnati, Ohio. He is accompanied today by his grandparents, Rob and Tina, and watching from home, his mother, Delanda. Frank Zuka is a defensive lineman from Painesville, Ohio. He is accompanied today by his parents, Frank and Tina. Matt Staley is a wide receiver from McDonald, Pennsylvania. He is accompanied today by his parents, Chris and Carol. Darius Stokes is a wide receiver from Canton, Ohio. He's accompanied today by his mother, Lori, sister, Octavia, girlfriend, Faith, and in spirit, his late father, Ronald Jr. Jimmy Vargas is an offensive lineman from Palmetto Bay, Florida. He is accompanied today by offensive line coach Dean Tolson. Murray Swinger is a quarterback from Oregon, Ohio. He is accompanied today by his parents, Jeffrey and Jennifer. And Aeneas Cohen is an offensive lineman from Jacksonville, Florida. He is accompanied today by his mother, Alana. Yeah, Bob Wallace oh. would like to thank hey, all our football seniors as well as their parents and guardians for their hard work, dedication, and commitment to Yellow Jacket football. Your efforts have truly made a difference both on campus and on the field. We'd like to wish all of you great success in all of your future endeavors. This concludes our Senior Day pregame festivities.
For those that chose to be here on Time Room Sports Live, thank you for choosing me. And of course, to everyone right near me, I apologize in advance for yelling so loudly. And it should be a fun one, that's for sure. When you play Mount Union, it's always going to be good, regardless of win or loss. I sure hope there's a packed student section for today because this is the biggest game of the season and could be our biggest win in 28 years. Of course, it won't be the biggest win in school program history. That honor belongs to the 1978 Stag Bowl, but rather 1994 to Mount Union would probably be second, if not third, if we win today. But first, we have to win today. I am, that's right. <laughs> yes, Mr. Romeo, thank you. I'm good, thank you. Yes, yeah, since like 9.30. That's when I first got here. And it... It has been very cold. The weather's going to be in the 30s today. Weather in the 30s for today and some snow flurries. We'll see you guys at home. Oh, Van doing their pregame ritual as always. Excuse me. Oh, oh. I guess I know who wants to go. Presenting the 2022 Baldwin Wallace University Marching Metal Jackets. Oh, yeah. The band is directed on the field by drum majors Brianna Bell and Hannah Torres. The color guard and twirlers are under the leadership of Dr. Julie Newcamp and Holly Sapienza. The pregame drill moves our written style patterns and motions to honor PW alumnus Bill Lockett. as we honor America and those who protect our freedom at home and abroad with the playing of our national anthem as it is performed by the BW Marching Band.
Hold on a second. 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 H
Purple Raiders almost ready to go. Excuse me for the shaky camera. Very cold. Very, very cold. Their captains are ready to come out. They are out. And coin toss will be coming up in a second. Mount Union right there. And here we go. Looks like we're ready to go. Guys are out, crowd going. Sandman is very high. It is time for the coin toss. So we will direct our attention to midfield. The weather today in the 30s. Snow flurries are expected. It should be a fun one. Band over there. Obviously, good game Welcome today. To the game of the Congratulations on being selected as captain for your team. Mount Union, you're the visiting team today. You get to call tails or heads. He calls heads. has won the toss and is elected to further choice to the second half. Baldwin Wallace will receive the ball in the south end zone. All right. Not the worst. That's for sure. Mount Union has surrendered zero rushing touchdowns this season. Zero. Which is absolutely crazy and hard to believe. 
There's a Hornets jacket right there. That's good. At least I think it's Highland. It's green. Of course, what well, wasn't good what was last night, unfortunately. A tough 40... Uh, 42 6 loss to Toledo Central Catholic. Trying to find out who their kicker is. I think it's Thomas Picarillo. 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 Picarillo's number 16 as the Brown and Gold Brigade talking things over one last time before we break for the kickoff. Darius Stokes and Michael Love. Yes, excuse me for one second. Thank you. Stokes and Mikel Love back to receive the kickoff from Thomas Picarillo. Yeah. Yellow Jacket fans, up on your feet It's Saturday. All right, we're back. Here we go. Darius Stokes, Michael, off a right to receive this. Now I feel much warmer. It's actually number two, Elliot Warner from New Philadelphia. Here we go. Purple Raiders, Yellow Jackets, kickoff underway. Great to have you aboard. Ty Ruse, your announcer. Michael Fields, this one at the three. He's going to go up to the 15 and not even make it to the 20 yard line. Is that a sign of what's to come? Michael Love on the return. Tackle by number 10, George Von A. So, with that being said, it's time for our offense led by two quarterbacks, Reese Waymer and Joey Marisek. In this play, it will be. Joey Marisek, Hugh being the Yellow Jackets, the former Akron Zip, looking to get a big win out here. Well, it would definitely be the biggest win of his life. Pistol set, play fake, pass complete to Darius. Darius at the 25 and doesn't get that far. Got about five or six. Tackle on the play by number five, Derek Bradley. And Second three, down and four to go at the 25. Mount Union's rushing defense is unbelievable. As mentioned earlier today, they have allowed zero rushing touchdowns. So Joey and Reese may have to rely on their arms today. And handing it off to John. John going to plow his way forward up John to the 29. I think that's enough for a BW first down. Nope, he's a little short. Third down and one. Third down and inches. Michael hits the sideline. Rocco Del Vern is in on this play. But Rocco not playing running back. It's snowing out here. And pistol set, they're blitzing. Might want to look out. Play fake, Joey rolls out right. Joey with a dump off to John for a first down towards the right side, up to the 40, up to the 45 yard line. Good play by Joey to John. And the band will play. Obviously happy about that result. We're at the 45 yard line. Great play is right. First down and 10, almost two minutes through the quarter. Looks like we'll be passing here. As number eight, Tim Conwell moves out of the running back position. Joey, up the middle, and thank God that wasn't picked off because that looked like it was in a tight window. 12.57 left in the first quarter. Score reads 0-0. Zero, zero. It's also being webcasted on Tommy Maroon Sports Live. Tommy Maroon is calling the action. Of course, you knew that. Like, why else would it be called Tommy Maroon Sports Live? 
Unless there's an imposter like Among Us. Remember when that was popular? Hand off to John up the middle. John is stuffed after a gain of about two. Third down. What do you do here? Tackled by number seven, Jesse Bale, and number eight, Ross. Michael Jackson, Vinny Third Jackson. Down Third down, eight. You definitely have to pass it here. Snow continues to come on down. Shotgun set running back to the left. Under 12 and a half minutes to go in the first. Looking towards the sideline. There's eight on the play clock. Gotta hurry. Five, four, three, two, one. Just gets it off. Joey floats that one to his imaginary friend and no intentional grounding, thankfully. Fourth down. Time for us to punt. Dylan Kuhlman will be punting. Wouldn't be smart to fake it, I'll tell you that. Orion Finley back to receive the punt. Orion Finley from Memphis, Tennessee is returning this. Here we go. They're rushing. Still not snapping it yet. Now it's a low snap. They're going for it. It's a high punt. It's going to take a few hops inside the 15, inside the 10, to the 6. To the five at Mount Union, not with the best field position, but then again, you're talking about Mount Union. Punt down by number 11, Vinny LeVeo. First down. Their the star Raiders. quarterback is the Braxton Plunk from Plant City, Florida. Mm -hmm. They'll start at the five. Braxton Plunk is one of the best quarterbacks in the game. Shotgun set, running back to the left. Here they go. Pass play. They have one of the best quarterbacks in the game as that one is overthrown and complete. Well, I'll tell you one thing. As number six, Wayne Ruby, his number one target all season long, was the intended man. The one way we win this is... The crowd, they really need to get into it tonight. They really need to get wild. They really need to go crazy. Second down, 10 to go. Number three, the running back, DeAndre Parker. Here they go. Shotgun, high snap, throws it. It is going to be complete, and it will be out of bounds. 13, Jay Farrer there. Yes. Pass complete to number 19, Jaden Manley. Excuse me, Jaden Manley. Knocked out of bounds by Third one. down and a few. That's right, folks. It is third down. Three to go. That's nothing for Mount Union. So. Winding up in shotgun set. Takes a snap. Braxton throws up the middle. It's going to be complete for a first down to the 19-yard line. He found number three, DeAndre Parker. Lunch pass complete to number three, DeAndre Parker. DeAndre Parker with a good job right there as Mount Union hurries up. There's 30 on the play clock. They are going pretty quick out here. That's for sure. It is snowing very... Decently, I guess one might say. Shotgun set, Braxton Plunk trying to send a man in motion. It's number six, Wayne Ruby. Watch out for Wayne Ruby. Anthony Kendall going to be on Wayne Ruby. Looks to throw, fires that one. It's going to be complete. A good hit by Robbie Williamson at the 26-yard line. Makes it second Plunk's down pass. and four. Complete to number two, Orion Finley. Orion made Jack the catch. By number two, Robbie Williamson. Second down and uh, four to go at the 26-yard line. There are 10 minutes and 20 seconds left of the first. What's up? 
Shotgun set, running back to the left. Plunk, jumping. Completion right there towards the right side and is going to go down the sideline and out at the 33-yard line. Number 19, Jaden Manley on the catch. Manley with his second reception of the day. They're at the 35-yard line. Plunk. I'm good, thank you. Plunk lines him up and shotgun set, running back to the left. He's going to pass it again. Up the middle, man, wide alone for a first down. It is DeAndre to the 48-yard line. Parker, tackle by number 35, Don Tromba. First down for the Raiders. The Raiders are marching. So that good punt turns out like it's going to be all for naught, I guess. Lest we can stop them. Nine minutes, 18 seconds left of the first quarter. And he looks at throw, fires up the middle. Oh, it is nearly picked. Great defense right there, nonetheless. Intended for number zero, Edwin Reed. Looking for Edwin Reed from Fort Lauderdale. Vontae was the man right there who played good defense. Oh man, oh man, if that was picked, that would have been huge. The Mountain Union going to dodge a bolt right there. Going to do his bubble screen left side, caught by Parker. Parker tripped up. He got nothing. Third down, good play right there. Oh. Third down and ten. But then you remember you're playing Mountain Union. I believe this is the eighth play of the drive coming up. We need to stop here. Three receivers to the right. Shotgun set for Braxton. Braxton Plunk with a high snap. Fires it. Gumby caught for a first down. And ooh, taken down at the 40 or 36 was Edwin Reed. Edwin Reed on the catch. First down and 10. They convert another third down. They are so good at that. On third down and 10 as well. Shotgun set, running back to the right side. Plunk looks to throw. Plunk is going to draw it to Parker. Parker is going to be brought down. And is still going, actually. And out at the 32. What a run right there. Gets three yards and a cloud of turf pellets. Very sad. I am crying. Yes. I would also be crying if Mountain Union converted a third down and 10. But it is not over yet. And it was actually five yards rather than three. At the 30 yard line, they're near field goal range. One more first down ought to do the trick. And Plunk going to lob this one. It is wide alone for a catch and a first down. Number six, Wayne Ruby. We got to be careful with Wayne Ruby. Tackle by number one, Anthony Kendall. First down. Wayne Ruby, one of the best receivers, not just on this team, but in all of D3. More than halfway through the first quarter. Defense chance as the Raiders reach the red zone. Shotgun running back to the left. Plunk looks to throw off his back foot wide alone. He has it. Dropped. Incomplete. Oh my goodness, Jaden Manley has a case of the dropsy. Number 19, Jaden Manley, broken up by number 26, Alden Steele. They try out for John. Our discipline is terrible. Second down at 10. Talk about a stroke of luck right there. Seven minutes, three seconds to go in the first quarter. This is definitely field goal range. 
Plunk and shotgun set. Parker on the right. Three receivers left. Looks to throw. Goes to DeAndre. Makes a catch. And he is out at about the... What now? 13-yard line. So they got about three yards. Third down and seven. Unfortunately, you remember the fact that you're playing Mount Union. And Mount Union is a very good school at football. They're a very good school in general. Third down, six, six and a half minutes to go. Shotgun set, come on, or let it be a stop. And it's a touchdown instead. Jaden Manley. Might be a long game, folks. Might be a very long game. Picarillo getting two attempts at the point out. Picarillo trying to make it 7 nothing out there. He's ready for this, holding it as number 11. Oh, there are two number 11s actually as that kick is up and good, and that was actually number 8, Noah Beaudry. I apologize for that. It was number eight, Noah Beaudry, that was holding it. The sophomore quarterback from Michigan, Monroe, Michigan. 6-18 left in the first quarter. Score reads 7-0. Unfortunately, Mount Union is winning again. We're going up against probably the best rushing defense in the country. Looks like uh, Darius and Michael, Michael, are ready to receive this. Their rushing defense is second in the nation at 39.4 yards per game, and their passing defense is second in the nation with 113 yards per game, and their total defense leads the nation with. 153.1 yards per game. They're third in the country with 50.8 points per game. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this one if we don't score here. Go. Miguel fields this one. He's Go. going left. Go. He's at the 20. He's up to the 25. He's spinning and brought down and brought down hard. <laughs> Miguel Love on the return. Tackle on the play. Well, what we Whatever need here is a touchdown and nothing else. Six minutes, 11 seconds left in the first quarter. First down, yellow jackets. First down and 10. Reese is in, in this for this play. See how long Reese Wamer will be in. Reese and shotgun set. Either way you do it, you don't have a good chance whether it's pass or run. Reese is going to bootleg this left side and get down at the 30, maybe the 31. Five yards, second down and five. Less than six minutes to go here in the first quarter. Score reads Mountain Union seven, Yellow Jacket zero. The Brown and Gold Brigade need about 70 yards to tie it. And if we do not score on this drive, and if Mountain Union scores, I've... I'm definitely convinced that this game is not going to be a fun one. Shotgun set, running back to the right. I believe it is John Reese. Gives it to John, and he's stuffed. He lost a yard, third down, six. John Murray Jr. on the keeper. So now it's exactly 70 yards. Third down and going three and out would not be ideal as Joey checks back in. And it was a squad leader. 
Hey, really? Yeah. How about that? Takes a snap, looks to throw, fires it, caught by Darius. Can he hold on? Yes, he can. First down, good pass right there to the 41 yard line. Good job. You're going to take those many victories when you play a school like Mount Union. Considering the fact, especially considering the fact that you're playing the best school, second best school in the country, but they could quite easily be the best school in the country. We are going in a five receiver set now as Tim goes towards the near sideline. And here we go, Joey looks to pass. Joey up the middle, it's gonna be nearly picked off. Darius wants a flag, he's not Darius gonna get one. How lucky Darius was that? Six. Nearly picked off by the Purple Raiders. Second down and 10, four minutes, 20 seconds to go. Student section over there, trying to make a difference, but when you're going up against Mount Union, Probably not going to happen. John on the left of Joey. He's going to keep it towards the left side and not get much. Slides in. There is not a late hit on that. Gain is zero. Well, one can clearly tell that this Purple Raiders team is very physical. Third down, 10. Joey has to pass it. Time set here for the Purple Raiders. Looking towards the sideline. 10 left on the play clock. You got to hurry, that's for sure. Four, three, two, gets it off. Joey looks to throw. Joey's going to let it fly deep for Vinny, and he undershot it incomplete. Oh, he's talking shit. Oh! Pass incomplete. And Darius having a conversation. Darius having a conversation with number five, Derek Bradley. Dylan Kuhlman is punting. 327 off to the first. We're number 13 now. He was making hella plays. Elijah? Finley and Ferrar back to receive the punt. Here we go. The Purple Raiders. You got to put on Orion is one of the return men. See if he gets it. Looks like they're going to be rushing it again. Here's a snap. Dylan punts it high in the air, waving for a fair catch, and will squeeze it at the 21. Nobody up. I ain't helping nobody up. And so 319 <laughs> remains Josh in the first Jones. quarter. It was number 13, Josh Jones, who made the fair catch. Now Braxton is going to go back on the field. Had a nice 96-yard drive last time. He's trying to do it again. Except this time he'll have to go 78 yards. First down and 10, shotgun set. And Plunk looks to throw, Plunk with the screen pass. It is caught right side and is out of bounds at the 30 yard line. DeAndre Parker made the catch. My grandpa used to play for Baldwin Wallace. That is actually very cool. He played for the oldest and greatest college in America. That is pretty impressive. Second down, one to go at the 31. He's a statue. He just be like, you don't move, nothing. And a 3-3 three, three set out here, 3-3-5, three, three, looks to pass it. Feeling pressure, flushed right. He's got to hurry, throws on the run, it is caught. Oh, out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Orion made the catch. 
Oh boy. Hey, he out of bounds. At the 45 yard line, a great play there by Braxton. Leads to a Mountain Union first down. Two and a half minutes to go. Plunk with DeAndre Parker on his left. Man goes in motion. That's 19 with the touchdown. Manley draw a play to Parker. Parker running for a first down. He is bulldozing his way to the 41-yard line. Good God, you just can't stop him. Parker from Crystal River, Florida, is five foot nine, weighs wide 65. First down. <laughs> 143 left, so there's about 100 seconds of the first. Shotgun said you need a stop here, but that's kind of hard, especially when you're playing Mountain Union. Having a hurry, there's three on the play clock, looks to pass it towards the left side, in and out of his hands, incomplete. Orion Finley, the intended target. Number two, Orion Finley, second and ten. Orion had that one and dropped it. Nobody came and blocked me. Everybody's going outside. 82 seconds left in the first quarter. Second and ten, Mount Union in a four receiver set, two to the left, two to the right, Parker on the left, looks to pass a pocket collapsing, Parker makes a catch, Parker going forward to the 33, and there is a shove right there, I think he got it, if not it's close, Mason made the tackle, third down, three to go at the 35, Mount Union has dotted their I's and crossed their T's all day by converting their every single third down they've had, three for three today. And finally, this crowd's starting to wake up. 32 at the 34 yard wide. Shotgun set, running back to the left. He's going to try a bubble screen. It's going to be complete. He's going to juke, and he is going to be a yard short. Fourth down. It's time to go for it. I'd be very surprised if they don't go for it. It will be the end of the first quarter, most likely. Unless they try to hurry it up. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that concludes the first quarter. Could be worse, could be snowing. Could be worse, could be 70 nothing rather than 7 nothing. Instead, it's 7 nothing. Good sportsmanship from both sides as it's time for the fourth down. Mountain Union, I'm assuming they might get it here. Gotta be careful. Hand off up the middle. He got it. Or did he? He's short. Did he get it? I think he got it. He's short. Oh, 
Oh, what's there's the flag? A flag? What's the flag? There's a flag. Oh, I don't know who no. that's on. Hey, hell no. What's flag the flag? flag. What? Man. I don't know who that's on. Oh, shit. They didn't get paid. Nope. That better be on the Purple nope. Raiders. He's short. Six He's seconds short. through the corner. Student section making a lot of noise right now. They're talking it over. There's no flag. Let's it's listen. First down. Officials time out for measurement. I know that's right. Oh. It's short. See, it's He's short. I can I could have sworn that was good enough. Yeah, it's right on the line. I see it. He even got to the 30. What's that? 32. He even get to the 32. But by the looks of it, he seems to be a little not short. Not even at the 32. Watch them stick. Band is playing over there. Offense, get ready. Straight out, boy. Offense, get ready. It's not even close. They're gonna bring out the chains. Let's look. It's not even I don't close. think he got it. It's not even close. He's short. He's short. Give it to the Yellow Jackets. All right, that's more like it. Yes, is right. Oh hell! Fifteen yards for the dead ball. Number squad. two, and that's number two's first oh. unsportsmanlike conduct penalty of the game. Y'all just gotta get, just gotta get somebody. Robbie committed the foul. Every time he plays, somebody gets unsportsmanlike conduct. And that gets the crowd riled up. I'm still in the game. And that'd be 16. Wow, back us off to the 18, 17 yard line. First out at 10. Talk about a great stop right there on fourth down. It is 7 0. Oh, number 7 is fast. Here they go. Shotgun set. Running back to the right. Jonah goes in motion. Jonah Schrock. Joey Marisek. Hands it off to go, Victor Ford go, towards the right side, go, up to the 30, 35, 39, 40 yard line. Oh, Good shit, run by Victor Ford. Now we got a big first down right there, a gate of 23. Last point, change on the hit. What a great run. Look big, they got them big ass pads. <laughs> first down, 10 at the 40, hands it off, again it's Victor, Victor gets a gain of one, and he's shoving him, where's the flag, where's the flag, he cannot believe it, George Newcomb was being wrestled and shoved to the ground, and they are not calling a flag on that, Mountain Union playing very physically out here today, that was a nice run, Dunk on five, man. Come on. <laughs> Second down nine. Jonah goes in motion. Left or right to left. Oh, you see where to run the ball? You see it. You see and it. And Joey with a quick pass. Going to be caught no. by Eli. Oh, Eli oh, taken oh, down at the 46. Oh, Third He's down and four. To number 13, Elijah Arnett. Tackle on the play by number five, Derek Third down and four. Not the end of the world, that's for sure. Those guys are making me impressive, man. You gotta go, you gotta go. Go to Stokes! Shotgun set, running back to the right side. Go to Stokes! Looks to be John. And John, no, Tim Conwell actually. Tim is gonna play receiver now. Joey looks to throw. Joey, what's it fly? There is no flag. He overshot him way too far. He was looking for Mikel. Fourth down, and you obviously have oh to punt it. Who the OC? Hey man, who the fuck is this? Who the OC? Damn. Dylan, two minutes to punt. Tuman is on to punt for the third time today. He has had a workout, that's that for sure. Hey, Joey, get your head out your ass, man. <laughs> Here we go. Looks like they're bringing the heat for the third time today. 
Maybe they'll rough the punter. Hit him. That would be nice or run into him. They won't. It says waving for a fair catch at the 16 yard line. I don't think the fans around me know, but there are children watching this live stream. Well, it's only 7 nothing, and we've played 17 minutes. We still have 43 minutes to go, so this can be really good for us or really bad for us. And I just have a feeling that it might be really bad for us. First down, 10, Braxton Plunk. Oh, hell no. And Braxton looks to throw. Braxton's going to hand it off, and he's going to stay on his feet and go down at the 25-yard line for a gate of about eight. Second down. Tackle by number 32, Dylan O'Donoghue. Dylan O'Donoghue on the tackle. Dylan won the many seniors, I believe. Second down. And two, shotgun set for the Purple Raiders. Braxton Plunk throws up the middle, and Edwin Reed has a case to the drop. He's a third down. Intended for number zero, Edwin Reed. It'll be third down. So Reed dropped it. Third down, we need to make some noise out here. Intimidate the Mountain Union Purple Raiders players. Plunk in shotgun set. Running back to the left. He's got a pass. He's got to take off. He takes advantage of the spy. And I think he got it. I think he just got it off. Plunk did get it off. That's a... Purple Raider first down. He knew where the first down marker was and just got in front of it. That was behind First down and 10 at the 28. Just barely got it. Took advantage of the fact that there was zero spies. There were zero spies. Who checking the number two receiver? And it looks like the Andres going in motion from left to right. Shotgun, go up the pass, nearly picked, and Parker's got it. Parker taken down at the 30 yard line after a gain of about two. Second down and eight. He's right, you gotta make it third and long on this play. Preferably a sack. Second down, seven actually at the 31 yard line. Shotgun set, heads it off up the middle and he is gonna try to fight his way forward. It will be third down, number 25, Tyler Akaveri. Here we go. Third down and six for Mount Union. We need to make some noise, especially in the student section. And now some noise is being in. in. Listen to this crowd on their feet. But it's Mount Union. What's the pass? Gun take off, no throws. It is nearly picked off, incomplete. And that a flag. That was not hell pass yeah. interference. You have got to be kidding me. Man, hell no. That was not pass interference. Hey, good D. Hey, wave the flag. Good D. Wave the flag. He just ran wave into it. him. He didn't even get hit for real. He wave wasn't it. even looking where he was going. That is not pass interference. But Mount Union will dodge a bullet. Is it a complete pass? Yes. Personal foul. Oh! I have.
have no clue where that late hit was. The pass was incomplete. That was not a late hit. And the guy ran right into him. Edwin ran right into our defender. That was on time. That's terrible. And this crowd is livid. Man, pick six. Look. Hit him again. First out in time. Ball at the 47. Here we go. Man in motion. It's number 19, Manoy. It's going to be a handoff towards the right side. He's fighting his way forward up to the midfield, and he is still trying to go. And 55 shoving. Mason Fortner from Wadsworth was shoving right there. But again, no call. Second down. It's only 7 nothing, but Mountain Union does get the ball to start off the second half. Second down and five. Defense chance at second down and five. In pistol set is Braxton and Co. Plunk. Going on to do a delayed handoff up the middle, and he's got a first down up to the 35, 30, 25, 20. Tyler Echeverry on that. By number 24, Vontae Jackson. First down, the Warriors. First down and 10. Turnover. First down and 10 at midfield, and you have to imagine if they never called that late hit. Because that bailed out the Purple Raiders, that is definitely true. Pistol set, whistle. They're looking for the flag to be on us. He called this shit, he called it. Well, I think <laughs> maybe a sideline warning. <laughs> Looks like it's a sideline warning on Mount Union. Still foul for delay a game. If there was eight seconds left in the play clock. Could have sworn that was a delay a game. First down and 10 at the 20. Pistol set. Hands it off. No, keeps it. He's going to pump fake. He's going to try to get on his feet still and down to the 14-yard line. Juan got six yards. Meanwhile, there's some talking going on. number 26, Alden Steele. Second down and four to go. Ball is at the 14 yard line. The band is ready to perform. They'll be doing a military tribute at the half. Shotgun, what's the pass? Pressure, he gets away. Throws off his back foot, incomplete. No flag. Chase Lawson, the intended target. Third down. Get home again. That was indeed very stupid, that call. Eight minutes, two seconds to go until we hit the half. Play clock is dying. Come on, BK. Shotgun set running back to the left side. Looks to pass the pressure. Lobs it. He's got a man. And it is good defense. Incomplete. No flags. Going for Edwin again. Fourth down time to kick. It will be Thomas Picarillo. Unless they decide to go for it. And by the looks of it, they will be kicking it. A mini victory for the good guys. And when you're the oldest and greatest university in America going up against, of course, Mount Union, the second best school in the country, you'll take these many victories. Fuck that kick. Take it to the crib. 
Back to kick. Fourth down and four. Well, it's gotta be a 31 yard kick, 46 yards in the NFL. It is on its way. That's a weak kick, but that is right down Broad Street. Right down Main Street, whatever you wanna say. So the Raiders extend their lead to 10 nothing with 7.56 left in the first. They got the blessing of a crazy call. I guess they are Metallica fans. I guess you're right. So Coach Elvert going to give them a talk. Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, proud medical provider. Where were you on the air, man? There he is, Coach Elvert, with the snow hat on. He's going to be talking with the Brown Gold Brigade. Ended up being not the worst thing in the world. Dan Andrews at Olympic Forest Products, Medical Mutual of Ohio, and the Oswald Company. Victor Chanting, Seven Nation Army over there in the skirted section. Mikhailov and Darius Stokes are ready to kick this thing off. Hey, how's it to the field? From the 35 yard line. Look how smart he is, man. Gonna run up. Kick this one high in the air. Darius from the eight. Darius running up to the 20. 27 yard line, trips down. Good tackle right there. That might have saved six. 7.55 left in the second quarter. Yes, that is very good. That we held them to three. Joey play quarterback. DJ Griffiths, one of the running backs here. He's playing running back, I ought to say. Too high, too high. Offense has sputtered out so far. Hand off to DJ up the middle, and DJ trying to fight his way forward for a gain of about one yard. Second down and nine, halfway through the second quarter. DJ Griffiths on the carry. Do kill and Ian Sexton on the tackle. So second down, nine to go. What do you do here? I probably pass. Well, that's just me. Troy Gun depend on our defense and special teams to win this game, considering how the offense has fared so far today. Tim makes the catch on the left side, and Tim got one yard. Third down at eight. Seven minutes to go. To number 80, Tim Conwell. Tackle on the play by number seven, Jesse Day. Third down at eight. Say, where did the band go? Typically, they're over there. But I guess they're not. Third down and eight. Shotgun for Joey. Joey looks to pass. Joey feeling pressure, and he throws it way away, and there is no flag. Mount Union very physical out there. Three and out go the Brown and Gold Brigade. Buckle up, folks. We might be in for a long one. Come on, man. Hey, coach. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. That's hey, hey, hey. Make your ass run left. <laughs> Fourth down. Huh? Eight to go. Yeah. Dylan is ready to put this one off. Got a good punt inside the five. Here's a snap. He's going to punt this one deep. I doubt we'll pin him here as he catches it at the 37. Flips it to the referee. Fair catch by Orion Finley. It'll be first down Purple Raiders. 6.25 left in the second quarter. 6.25 left in the first half. 10 nothing. We need a stop right now. I'll have to admit, student section's pretty packed for today. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Might be the largest it has been all season as the snow comes down a little harder. Braxton Plunk sends a man in motion. It is Manley. 
And Plunk is going to hand that one off, and he's got a hole, and he's going to juke, and he's still going on his feet. We're going to try to strip him, and he is a body yard short. DeAndre Parker on that. Did he got it? Ah, uh, yes, he did. First down. First down and 10 at the 47. I didn't think he got it. Oh, well. Less than six minutes ago in the first half. Shotgun set. Gun pass it here with Hold plenty it. of time. Hold Rolling it. out towards his right. Gun try to take off, throws it, and nearly picked off. Everybody looking for a holding call. Once again, those Purple Raiders Hold really physical out there. Broken up by number 44, Tyler Tobin. It'll be second down and 10. What the second down and 10 at the 47. Plunk winds up again in a shotgun set. We need a stop here. And then another stop. Look out for DeAndre Parker, but he will actually catch it instead of run and get a first down at the 43. Hilbert, back up the backfield. Complete to Parker. They did it three times already, man. Way more than three times. First down and 10. Mount Union is marching. Uh. Shotgun set, and off up the middle, trying to find some room, and he will find no room at all. DeAndre may have gotten a yard or two. Second down, and date, five minutes left till we hit the half. Second down. They'll say it is eight. That, that's his speed back. Gang a little weight here in the second quarter. Our sideline channing defense. Referee open takes a snap, looks to throw. Obs, he's got a man, and it's a nice catch but by the guy on the sideline. Third down and eight. They're playing Mount Union, however. Not holding my breath. They do have a good shot. They have converted numerous third downs. Shotgun sucks. We need to stop them right here. And stop them we do. Incomplete. Oh, come on! That's not pass interference. That is not pass interference. No. This is getting ridiculous. You got to wave at least one of them. His eyes was turned. He didn't get there early. That that's terrible. getting ridiculous out here. Oh, that, that's terrible. Mountain Union going to get bailed out on another pass interference call. Another. I just don't understand it. Mountain Union playing 10 times more physically than us. They got no calls. We just touch them. We just tap them. We do nothing. We just breathe on them and we get flagged. I just don't understand it. First down and 10. That's just so stupid. I agree. At the 30, Mount Union gets filled out again. Plunk and shotgun set. Play fake. Looks to throw. With time. Flush right. Can throw it away. Passes. Incomplete. Long pass incomplete. This crowd is furious right now. 
intended for number 85 Chase Lawson. He was looking for number 85 Chase Lawson, a senior from Plant City, Florida. Who that, 74? Every time, man. Second down and 10. Gonna pass it, no draw play, and he's got some room to operate to the 24 yard line. Third down and four. Lance Mitchell on the play by Lance Mitchell on that. We'll see if the refs are gonna bail him out again or if we could stop him. There will be a timeout taken. Hey, where is your, hey, I'm out there. The play clock did not start properly. Please reset the game clock to three minutes and 54 seconds. Please set the play clock to 30 seconds. And the game clock will start on my signal. You did not start properly. Is that 40? Go back to bed. Well, I don't know what happened there. Third down and a few. Braxton Plunk and pistol set. Plunk, high snap, and a play fake. Looks to throw, no holding call. Zings into the end zone, picked off. Anthony Kendall will get away with one at the 20, down at the 25 yard line. Anthony Kendall with a huge interception right there. There are no flags. Okay. This crowd is getting stoked. Sideline warning on Mount Union. That's more like it. Hell yeah, AK! So a nice interception by Anthony Kendall. Now the crowd comes back to life. Three and a half minutes left. 331 to be exact. John playing receiver. Joey gonna pass. Joey, Joey on a screen. Gonna be caught going backwards and being dragged down after a loss of about three. Well, that's not the right direction, that's for sure. Hey, you need some help. Second down, 13. Three minutes to go in the first half. You need some help. 10 nothing is our score, as you can tell. Unfortunately, the evil umpire is bleeding. Take him deep. What's the 2019 favor, please? <laughs> Pistol set for Joey. Jonah in motion. And he'll roll out to the right side. Might want I Jonah instead. He lobs it deep and he just threw an interception at the 41. You got a receiver right in front of you, man. Hey, she go back in the game, my buddy. And things do not look good. Hey, don't put him back in. Please. He go back in the game, I'm leaving. Let me first down, Purple Raiders. Go to quote Justin Timberlake, what comes around goes around. As just two plays after we got the pick. They got a pick. No bueno. No bueno. Joey was pressured pretty badly out there. I'm going over there. And the Mountain Union sideline making noise. It's 10-0. Man, what the fuck we... All right. Tell me about it. First out at 10 at the 40-yard line. Gonna be a handoff right side. It is DeAndre Parker for a gain of about two. Second down add to eight. We'd like to remind you the halftime show is coming up. It will feature, what do you call it, excitement and happiness. Maybe more offense than what we've provided so far. <laughs> Second down today. You know Coach Hilbert's going to be going for a lot of halftime adjustments, especially on offense. 
Coach Jeff Dart has to be happy with how this game's been going. High snap, gonna throw it up the middle, pass complete, he's down, two yards short. That was number six, Wayne Ruby, third down. What's that, two minutes to go until it is halftime. Third down, two to go. Our side making noise. Looks the pass. Up the middle. It's caught. Incomplete. Incomplete. It's incomplete. Fourth down. Plunk. Tried to hit uh, Ruby again. But broken off. Fourth down. At a little bit. 85 seconds left. We need to stop like now. We need a stop. Fourth down and one. And the Purple Raiders take a timeout with 85 seconds on the clock. It's been a very defensive contest out here as the oldest and greatest college in America finds themselves struggling out here, 10 nothing. Gave up a 96-yard touchdown drive. Refs gave Mountain Union a free first down, and they took advantage of it with a field goal. That's where we are right now. 10-0. Fourth down and two. It is snowing out here, as you can tell. First down, or fourth down, excuse me. Hopefully it's first down us, not first down them. But regardless, the next play will be a first down. Just depends on who it's going to be on. Watch the back. Watch the back. Watch fourth the down, back. add two. Shotgun set, running back to the left. Looks to pass and no drop. Boy, he's going to get the first down and then some. To the 29, going to try shoving back. Watch the back. First down to the 29. Mountain Union has two timeouts left. Just a good delay right there. And the Raiders might have to hurry it up here. Shotgun running back to the left. Gonna pass it up the middle. It is caught. He breaks a tackle, breaks a second tackle. Goes down to the 22 yard line. That's a gate of seven. Second down at three. Less than a minute to go here in the first quarter. They are hurrying up. Hopefully they resort to a field goal rather than a touchdown. Less than 40 seconds, looks to throw. He's going deep and it is gonna be a great catch. Stays in bounds at the Seven, no, nine yard line. 33 seconds off, good pass to Wayne Ruby. And Mountain Union knocking on the door once again. They had the blessing of an interception, which is how they got to where they are right now. First down and goal. Ball at the 90 yard line. Shotgun set, running back to the left. Gonna pass it, looks to throw, fires it deep, passes, caught, touchdown, Purple Raiders, touchdown, Edwin Reed. Fox pass completes to number zero, Edwin Reed for the touchdown. I got a bad feeling about this one, folks. You guys leaving or what? Okay, good, because I didn't know about this jacket and stuff. I know. I see. Going to try to make it 17 nothing. Piccarello. 
Kick is up, kick is good, and a mass exodus of students. The point after is good with 26 seconds to go in the first half. It's Mount Union 17, Bowman Wall is zero. Are we really heading for the exits already? I mean, I kind of doubt we win this game. Seventeen nothing Raiders. Darius and Macau are right to receive this. Ready to kick this off with 26 seconds. It's a squib kick. And gonna be, oh no, it's booted. Fielded at the two, running, and he's not even gonna get past the 10. I don't think he got past the five either. He got to the six, you might as well kneel it and go to halftime. Stokes on the return. The score will be 17-0 at the half. West we can score, West Mount Union scores. And things do not look very good for the Yellow Jackets. To my surprise, we are not kneeling it. But nobody ever understands my halftime. Nobody ever understands. <laughs> Just gonna be a draw play to John. First down, no, not even close to first down. John Murray Jr. to the 12-yard line, six yards. And that means it's halftime. 17-0, eight seconds, clock is stopped. Don't know why the clock is stopped. You get paid for this? Yes. Thank you. Should not have stopped. Please set the game clock to two seconds and it will start on my signal. This is on the YouTube channel Tommy Maroon Sports Live. And we're not going to snap it at all. Just a disaster of a first half. And the Mount Union sideline is pretty happy. They're in a commanding lead out here. 17 nothing. we will step aside and let the band do what they do best right here on Tommy Road Sports Live. Don't leave. Ladies and gentlemen, 
please direct your attention to Baldwin Wallace side of the field. Today, Baldwin Wallace University, today we would like to take the opportunity to recognize and honor our five senior cheerleaders as well as our six senior marching band members. First, our cheerleaders. Kylie Berlin is a sports management and hospitality tourism management double major from Doylestown, Ohio. She's accompanied today by her mother, Lisa. Kylie Eckert is a chemistry major from Lancaster, New York. She is accompanied today by her parents, Keith and Linda. Reagan Olaf is a public health major from Norwalk, Ohio. She is accompanied today by her mother, Kathy, class of 1991, her twin sister, Caitlin, who is a member of the BW women's golf team, and also, in spirit, her father, Tom, from the class of 1992 here in BW. Imani Seals is a public health major from Youngstown, Ohio. She is accompanied today by her grandmother, Dorothy, and Aunt Jennifer. Megan Smith is a middle childhood education major from Brunswick, Ohio. She is accompanied today by her parents, Tom and Susan, BW class of 1994. And now for our marching band members. Lauren Driscoll is an interactive design major from Rocky River, Ohio. She is accompanied today by her mother Mary and fiance Layton. Diana Lower is a biology major from Jackson Township, Ohio. She is accompanied today by her parents Ralph and Christine. Mary Masterson is a Spanish Spanish major from North Royalton, Ohio. She's accompanied today by her parents, Timothy and LaRonda. Jacob Miller is a computer science major from Parma, Ohio. He's accompanied today by his parents, Douglas and Mary Ann. Hazel A. Smith is a psychology major from Jeromesville, Ohio. She's accompanied today by her parents, Barry and Melissa. And Julie Wetzel is a studio art major from Seville, Ohio. She is accompanied today by her parents, Chris and Joanne. Baldwin Wallace would like to thank our cheerleading and marching band seniors, as well as their parents and guardians, for their hard work, dedication, and commitment to Yellow Jacket cheerleading and marching band. Your efforts have truly made a difference, both on campus and on the field. We'd like to wish you great success in all of your future endeavors. Once again, our senior cheerleaders and band members. This concludes our senior day festivities. Thank you all. Good afternoon, BW fans. It's time to put your hands together for your BW Marching Yellow Jackets. I'm the direction of Dr. Andrew Mockamore, Ken Highlight, Percussion Advisors, Daryl Micah, Andrew Hyde, Color Guard Advisors, Dr. Julie Newcamp, Holly Sapienza, Twirler Coach, Courtney Birkin, Trumpet Coach, Dave McKinney. The BW band is proud to share with you some of the most iconic songs of the 70s rock era, starting with Elton John, Saturday Night All Right.
Up next, the BW Band brings you Emerson Lake and Palmer's Carnival Number no. Nine. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. Now, get ready to rock and roll with the BW Marching Yellow Jackets. Ladies and gentlemen, to honor the members of each branch of the United States military and celebrate our recent Veteran Day, the BW Marching Yellow Jackets will perform Paul Lavender's Salute to America's Finest. We invite the members of each branch of the military to stand and be recognized as your branch's anthem is played. Watch the BW scoreboard. It will display each military branch as it is being honored. BW audience, let's show our appreciation for those who have given our country so much.
Well, 30 down, 30 more to go, and things do not look very good for the Yellow Jackets. Trailing by a score of 17-0 out here. We'll flip the camera around. Time run here. Got this jacket, by the way, from the hospitality of the family that is sitting right next to me. So thank you and huge shout out to them. They did a good job. I believe it's Coach Overt's family that is part of it, or that gave me this jacket. So thank you to them. Very nice, very generous of them. So in case you're wondering where I got it from, I'll return to them, don't worry. But anyways, first half, first started off with a 96 yard touchdown drive for the Purple Raiders following our punting. Then a field goal after a very questionable, unnecessary roughness call. Then we got an interception via Anthony Kendall. And then after Anthony Kendall's interception, Joey Marisek threw an interception as well. That led to a Mount Union 40 yard touchdown drive. And that is where we are right now. It is 17 nothing Purple Raiders. Things do not look good for us. The show will recap no, and sir. Events, as well as interview coaches and the student and section athletes. population is about seven. I really don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that the student section of population is seven. Because literally nobody is there. I don't know where they all went. But I can only assume a lot of folks are filing for the exits as the snow comes down harder. And the old jackets deficit increases. We have about two and a half minutes left till the second half is underway. I doubt we try anything fancy like the Saints did in the Super Bowl famously with their onside kick. Yeah, it's snowing folks as you can tell on your screen. Hard to believe, but a few days ago it was 70 degrees outside and you didn't have to worry about it being cold. I've been outside virtually all day. And as you can tell, some folks are filing for the exit. Don't know what the scores are across the Ohio Athletic Conference. If you do know, please tell me. At Cleveland Sports Medicine, we understand athletes. As the oldest and greatest Where university in America, Georgia down Georgia 17 here to, to the Purple Raiders. And honestly, it could be much worse. Quite easily be 24 to 31 off. Proud medical provider for really, the lone highlight has been the Anthony Kendall interception. And the only offensive highlight was the noise. And the only noise that we made all first half, I ought to say, the only noise we've made throughout the first half was really the marching band. <laughs> On this chilly and snowy Saturday afternoon. About two hours through the live stream. You need the defense to make a big play. You need them to have a pick six or something. But then you recall last week to Heidelberg, we fell down to a 13 point hole, 13 point deficit at the half, got shut out first half. What do we do? Score 13 unanswered in the second half, force overtime, win the game, walk it off on two point conversion. But then again, that was Heidelberg. This is Mount Union. These are the Purple Raiders. Kicking off for BW. Dean Saris finally on the field for the first time today. As he will be kicking off to start off the second half. Looks like number 24, Lance Mitchell, one of the return men. 
Along with that one, no, number two, Orion Finley. Finley and Mitchell as there's a pooch kick. Fair catch at the 24 yard line. And that's where the Raiders will start. Edgeberry with the fair catch. So if you're Braxton Plunk, I suggest that, or if I were him, I would do basically the same thing I did first half. Except you can let the clock die now. First down and 10, shotgun set. And it's going to be a delayed handoff up the middle. Tripped off and lost the yard. Second down and 11. I don't know if they've had a single play as DeAndre Parker was the guy on the carry. I don't know if they've had a single play today that has had negative yardage. Well, I guess there is now. Second down at 11. Shotgun set. Going to look to pass here. Sings up the middle. It's going to be caught down at the 32 yard line was Lost Edwin Reed. Complete to zero. Edwin Reed. Tackle on the play by number four, Brandon Seawright, at number 33. Third down and two for the Purple Raiders. Third down and two. Meanwhile, the student section is very quiet now because nobody is there anymore. Everybody left because this game is just about over. Pass off the middle. Tipped and nearly picked. No flag. Anthony Kendall, good job right there. Intended for number six, Wayne Ruby. Broken up by number one, Anthony Kendall. Good job, Anthony. Fourth down, punting time. Jake Hill will be the return man. Darius Stokes, back to the seat. No, Darius Stokes. Elliot Ward the putter. He's on for the first time today to punt. So three and out go the Purple Raiders. What world do we live in? Here's a snap ball towards his right diving effort and goes down, but I think he flopped. And they are going to down it at the 34, no flag. Down 35, Dom Tromba gives him a fist bump. It's first down, Yellow Jackets. First down and 10 for the Brown and Gold Brigade. Please reset the game clock to 13 minutes and 40 seconds. The game clock will start on the snap. What? Oh, on the snap. I was confused there for a second. First he said on his whistle and be like, wait, what? It was a punt. The clock doesn't start until the snap happens, of course. <laughs> it was right, he was right, the ref was right. Tim Conwell, play receiver out here. Claps his hands, Joey looks a pass up the middle. It is a good catch by Jake Novak for a gain of nine. Second down and one, maybe two. How's it going? All we need right now. Keep moving the ball forward. Second down and one. Second and one here for the good guys. Lighting up in shotgun set. Tim Gunn play receiver again on the left side. Joey looks to pass. Joey up the middle. Ooh, in and out of the hands and no flag. Basically mugging his guy right there, mugging Andrew Bortz. Jesus Christ! Third down and one. <laughs> Think you gotta go back to basics, but thank God Mountain Union is. Good at the rushing defense. They're great at the, as it's a handoff to John and right on cue, he doesn't get it. 
Fourth down, I think you gotta go for it. Considering how this game is gone, what I said it will be a punt. Fourth down and two, two men right to punt this. If we can't get one yard, we should not be out here. Orion Finley. Orion to return it. We kind of be receive. stupid if we fake it. Here we go. Here's the snap. They're going to try to get there. Can't get him. Going to wait for a catch. Backing up at the 10 yard line. They'll have to go 90 yards. Well, some folks have returned to the student section, but it's a far cry from what it was in the first half. The Raiders having a good game out here. They are looking to pick up their 54th straight win and their 27th consecutive win against the Yellow Jackets. I said it to some folks out here earlier today. I'm like, you know, Mountain Union's been us every year since 1994. What makes you think this year's going to be different? That's kind of what's been happening. Handoff up the middle for a first. Nope, he's a little short. The At the 19-yard line, there's DeAndre. Second down. And two. We home for the defense. Here we go. Winding up in shotgun. A Lloyd handoff towards the left side. Has some blockers, has some run off to the 30, 35. And he is down at the 47. Parker on the 45 carry. actually, on excuse me. Number 26, Steel. DeAndre Parker first with a big Burberry. first down run. Hey, what the hell, man? Purple Raiders are looking to make it at least 24 nothing. I would say 20 nothing, but then again, these are the Purple Raiders. They don't settle for field goals. Of course, they do have one today, but that had to be very disappointing if you're Jeff Dardenko. Another handoff, Parker up the middle for a first down up to the 40, 39 yard line. DeAndre Parker on the carry. Tackle on the play by number two, Robbie Williamson. My goodness, this and is going to be really Brandon frustrating as DeAndre down. Parker picks up another first down. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. The atmosphere is dying out here in Berea. Hey, keep running the fucking ball until we stop that shit. Shotgun sat here. It's coming right. Looks like we're in a 4 3 set. It's a delayed handoff again, Parker, and this time we're all over him, trying to make him go backwards and. Due to forward progress, he will get negative one. Second down and 11. Five minutes through the second quarter. Snow definitely getting a little lighter now. Shotgun set here for Braxton Plunk, one of the best quarterbacks in the country. And he's going to look to pass up the middle. It's caught to the 37 third down. Third down and seven. To number six, Wayne Ruby. Wayne Ruby again. Wayne Ruby has been his number one target, not just today, but all season long. Crowd trying to make some noise, but obviously the energy is not there. We haven't had a single play inside Mountain Union territory today. That's bad. 
What's all? Oh, that's good. Actually, the pass is incomplete. He was looking for DeAndre Parker. Fourth down. I think they can afford a punt, considering how this game has gone. And punt they will. Second punt today for Mount. Darius is right to return this. Order into punt for the Purple Raiders. Darius Stokes back to receive. Elliot Warner, the freshman punter. <laughs> Snap. Can't get there. High in the air. Darius catches it at the eight. 8.54 left the until the third quarter is over. And things have just not gone according to plan, especially for the, who do you call them, the offense which has been sputtering out the all game day. Never ran during the punt. Please reset the game clock to eight minutes and 48 seconds. The game clock will start on the snap. I don't know why it wasn't running, but it wasn't. Coach Hilbert has to be happy now. Two straight drives of punts for the Purple Raiders. First down 10, you need 91 yards. Darius Stokes, you're play receiver. You're starting to get a little desperate now. As Joey looks to pass, Joey steps up. He's aiming it deep and a little too deep. It's caught on the sideline. Intended for number seven, Darius Stokes. Second and Darius with the intended uh, target. My paper's getting all wet. It's not a good thing that my paper's getting all wet. Second down, 10. Shotgun set. Tim Conwell moves out of the running back position. Joey's going to be passing it, you know that. And Joey's flushed right. Joey throws on the run, and it's incomplete. Don't know who he's throwing that to. Deep throw and Reese Wehmer. Intended for number 13, Elijah Arden. Third and 10. What are we doing? Wow, this crowd getting restless out here. Third down at 10. 8.35 left in the third. Shotgun, Joey, up the middle, pass complete, Darius Stokes for a first down up to the 35-yard line. All right, that's more like it. So Joey finally hit the target. Good job right there by the brown and gold brigade, but things don't look that good. Keep down here. We'll see what we do here. Shotgun set. Tim Conwell moves out to receiver. Four receivers, one tight end here for the good guys. Five on the play clock, you gotta hurry. They're bringing the blitz. Fires it deep, and a little too deep. There's a shove, but I don't think Darius was gonna catch that. Wow, there is some drama going on here on the sideline. Those folks have really been driving everybody nuts today, that's for sure. They have been getting a little ridiculous today, that's for sure. What is happening, Joy? Apparently those hecklers are getting yelled at. Joey looks to pass. Joey lets it fly deep from Mike Elliott undershot him, but he made the catch. First down. And for the first time today, we are inside Mountain Union territory. Mikel Love with a great catch. 
I thought he undershot him there. Let's go! Midway through the third quarter, the argument still going on on the left of me. Joey again, five receivers set. He's going to pass it. He lobs it deep. Mikel Love, it's swatted out of his hands. Incomplete. Good job there by number 27, Ian Sexton, a senior from Dover High School. Pass incomplete. Intended for number zero, Mikel Love. Second down. Broken up on the play by number 27, Ian Sexton. It'll be second down at 10. We're here for you, Joey. Second down. 10 at the 25. John Murray Jr. moves out to receiver. Marisek looks to throw. Joey feeling the pressure. Joey still feels more pressure, and he will just throw it away. I think he was looking for Eli Arnett. Well, it's better to do that than, you know, take a sack or throw it to someone you can't see, because that's definitely perhaps an interception. There is no foul for ineligible players downfield as the quarterback was outside the pocket and legally grounded the ball. Yes, he did. Third down and 10, seven minutes, seven seconds left. Shotgun, what do you do here? You pass it, that's what you do. Joey deep up the middle, pass is picked off. Are you kidding me? He's gonna run out to the five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And now he's gonna run right. He's gonna have some blockers. Tim Conwell can't get him. Nobody can get him until the 47 yard line. Oh my God. Interception on the play by Number 28. 28, John that's John Roland. Darius Stokes Roland on the from Livonia, Michigan. Or Livonia. And Joey Marisek has just thrown his second pick of the day. This has been a very long game, I must say. And our only offense of the day sputters out on an interception and a phenomenal return. A delay handoff to Parker. Parker up to midfield. Parker down. John Rowland is a junior and he just made a play that could have saved some momentum from being shifted. Second down at seven. Ball is at midfield. Pistol set. Gonna hand it off to Parker again. And DeAndre's got first down. DeAndre's up to the 34. Parker on the carry for the first down. Number 32, Dylan O'Donohue on the tackle. And some people are leaving. Well, 20 minutes and 51 seconds for a miracle. First down and 10 at the 34. Another Doyd handoff, and he is going to get nothing and like it. Parker on the carry. Tackle by number one, Anthony Kendall. Anthony Kendall on the stop. Second down and 10. Second down and 10. Five minutes, about five minutes left. Shotgun handoff to Andre Parker, and he is swung on down after a loss of three. Third down and 14, actually. He lost four yards. Monte with a nice stop right there.
Third down and a lot. Look from Mountain Union, third down and a lot's nothing, isn't it? Wong. Passes it. Wong. Just a dump off pass complete. He's trying to spin around and he only got two yards. Fourth down. It's time to climb. Pass completes to number six, Wayne Ruby. Tackle Wayne Ruby on 24. the catch. Vontae Vonte again with the tackle. Darius Stokes is right to return this. Elliot Warner into punt for the Purple Raiders. Darius Stokes back for your Yellow Jackets. So another mini victory for the good guys. Once again, you'll take those mini victories when you play Mount Union, that's for sure. They're spread out. Here's a snap. We might get there. We just don't. And Darius falls down on it at the 10. He's lucky he didn't fumble that because if he fumbled that, that would have been pretty disastrous. Fair catch at the 10-yard line by Darius Stokes. The offense has been doing a pretty frustrating, has been doing a pretty ball average job today. Three thirty-six left in the third. We have zero points. Mount Union has seventeen. Sending a man in motion right there. It will be a quarterback keeper, and he lost five yards. It's Reese Waymer. Tackle on the play by number thirty-four, Tahir White. Number 11, Vinny Wameo is also in. Second down and 13. We got mismatches. 13, don't want to be out there. Seven out of The student section is emptied out. Shotgun set. Reese sends Mikel in motion. Reese with a screen pass caught by John. John's not going to get anything. Or maybe plow his way forward. Got up to the 17, 18 yard line, but it'll be third down still. John Murray Jr. on the reception from Waver. Good job Second there by the John. By Sometimes you don't have to do something fancy. Sometimes you don't have to do John something Roller. crazy. It'll be third down and two. But then again, it's third down. <laughs> if we don't get it, we gotta go. Third down and two. Two minutes, 16 left in the third. Reese, does he hand it off? I doubt it because they send five men rushing. Oh, he does. And John got a first down to the 26. Good run right there. Right on their feet. That was a good run indeed. First down and 10. 100 seconds left in the third. Shotgun set, pistol set actually for Reese. And he's going to send McGowan in motion. Give it to John. Now keeps it up the middle and is dragged down at the. 30 yard line on the play by for a gain of about Mason four. McMillan. Second down. Second down and six. Second down and six here for the Tempo. good guys. Tempo. The oldest and greatest university in America does not look like they are doing well right now. Tempo. Only three plays inside Mount Union territory as we are underneath a minute here in the third quarter. Tim Conwell going to play a receiver now. Five receivers set. Or four receivers set, actually. Looks to throw. Yes. Reese Wimmer with a pass that is complete and taken down at the 36-yard line. I think that should be enough for a first down. Boy, yes, it is. Andrew Bortz, number six. Oh! 
30 seconds left here in the third. Tim Conwell playing receiver again after being at the running back position. Reese Weimer with a pass caught by Andrew. He's going to get first down and step out of bounds to the 47. It was actually Jake Novak, actually, not uh, Andrew Borks. Number five, Jake Novak. I think that'll take you. Oh, he didn't get the first. I thought he got the first. Well, it's the end of the third quarter, and we need a miracle. That's for sure. 17 nothing. Hey, you'll take many victories. We shut them out in the third quarter. And at the end of the third quarter, it's Mount Union 17. Ball to ball is zero. Well, it could be worse. Seven Nation Army going on in the band section. Are you a live stream? Yes. On what platform? YouTube. Yes. Yeah, you can watch it right now, actually. Yes. At Tommy Maroon Sports Live. Well, I don't want to watch it now because now it's happening now. Yeah. It's happening right now. You're right. <laughs> what? Tommy Maroon, yes. That's you? That's your name? Yeah, Tommy Maroon. Okay. Yes. Like the color? Yes. Okay. Second down. Second down, two to go. Shotgun set running back to the left. Reese Weimer, gonna pass it, pump fix, what's it fly deep, has some separation in the overshot, Darius, they're down two. Weimer's pass incomplete, intended for number seven, Darius Stokes. You gotta lay out, you gotta lay out. Third down and two at the 44. What do you do here? Do you dare hand it off? Yes, you do. And got the first down. John Murray Jr. off to the 48-yard line. Once again, we go inside Mount Union territory. And there's a flag. They're going to bring it back. That was a little late. What are you going to go talk about? You're the one who threw the flag. Right. You threw the flag. What did you do? Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense. Yeah. All right. I was scared for a second. I thought that would be a holding call on us, but... Holding call, it was not. Mount Union shoots themselves in the foot, but it will just be a little, one of the few instances that a Band-Aid's gonna fix a bullet wound, I guess, because it's 17 nothing. Weimer in shotgun set, looks to pass, rolls out to the left, Gonna dump it off over his head, caught by Darius Stokes, and for the first time today, the good guys are inside the red zone. First down and 10, 14 minutes, 22 seconds left in regulation. Most likely till the end of the game, considering how Mount Union has run this game. Conwell playing receiver again. Shotgun set, seven on the play clock. Look out, you gotta hurry soon. Three, and Reese looks to throw. Reese feels pressure, throws up the middle, is caught, and that will be a ball and rolls touchdown. Touchdown to Jake Novak. And we will not get shut out. Sarah's 
Right. So he will not get shut out. As we spring our way back in it. Dean Saris on for the extra point as the snow is sprinkling out here now. High snap. That's a line drive kick and he just got it. Dean Saris. Well, 13 minutes 58 seconds left. Stranger things have happened. Not feeling confident yet. We're definitely not out of the woods yet, that's for sure. 17 to 7 is what the score is. Dean Saris in to kick off. Dean is kicking it off. 24, Lance Mitchell, one of the return men. The other one is. Uh, Orion Finley. Finley They're loading up on the, the right Bears. side, the far side. I don't think he wants I kick it yet. At least I wouldn't. And Dean does not onside it. Instead, Orion fields this one from the seven, running towards the right side. He's at the 30. 35, Dukes away, still on his feet, and down at the 39 for a phenomenal return. Both Mountain Union gets a touchdown. I think that will end it. Tackle on the play by Dylan So we need to stop him here. Dylan O'Donoghue and Isaac Dottero. Isaac, I believe, is a freshman. Dylan is a senior. First down, Purple Raiders. <laughs> First down and 10 for Braxton Plunk. He will hand it off up the middle to Parker. Parker yeah! gets one yard, maybe. Go. Second down, good job. Parker on the carry. It's still not over. And you're still not out of the woods. Second down, eight to go. Come on, D, let's go. Second down, nine. Ball at the 41. He actually got two yards rather than one. I'm sure they'll take a two yard gain over a one yard gain all day. There's a pass and it's in and out of his hands. Looks like someone has a case of the dropsies, and that someone is Jaden Manley. Third down. 13 minutes, three seconds left. Crowd on their feet. Listen to them. This could be a big play. Third down. And oh, he fumbles it but recovers and he's gonna throw a pass that is caught. A yard short. He is two yards short. Two yards short, it's the fourth down. Are they punting? Yes, they are. Wow. Fourth down. Number two, Elliot Warner. Darius is right to return this. What a stop. Three and out, go Mount. You cannot rush him. You cannot play for the block because you might run into him. You might rough him. Here's a snap. It's a punt. High in the air, Darius catches it. He tries to juke away, he does, and he is still going up to the 11-yard line. 
89 yards. Well, we went 90 yards last time we got the touchdown. Stokes on the return. Tackle on the play by... Exactly 12 minutes for a miracle. Good Lord, let it happen. 12 minutes, 17-7. Defense is pitching a shutout in the second half for now. Knock on wood. Just knocked on wood. The wood right there because I'm very nervous. Still not holding my breath. Reese Wehmer. Reese Wehmer in shotgun set. Reese is gonna roll out to the left side, looking, looking. Bob this one away, unfortunately, and out of bounds. And the ball went beyond the line of scrimmage. Thank you for that explanation of the rule. That was lucky. I thought that was going to be an interception just by the way he carelessly lobbed it out of bounds. Second down, Tim moves to the left. Reese looks to pass. Reese up the middle. It is incomplete. There are no flags for pass interference. Third down and ten. It was looking for Andrew. Yes. They're telling you you can't do it. Do it. Third down and ten. You gotta make a play here. Shotgun set, running back to the left. Reese Wehmer needs to do something. Reese looks to pass. Reese, pressure. Reese says he throws and no roughing the passers fourth down. Yeah, he was says he threw that. Wehmer's pass incomplete. It'll be fourth down. So really? morning, Baldwin Wallace. That's their first sideline warning of the game. There is no penalty yardage associated with this foul, and it is their first and only warning. Okay, good idea to punt it. If we would have gone for it, that would not have been smart. Dylan Kuhlman punting this. Orion Finley and number 13, I believe it is Josh Jones. And Dylan with a good punt. Oh, he's going to catch that one at the 46 of ours. Kuman's punt, fair caught by number two. Orion. Well, that drive took 21 seconds. No more, no less. A very counterproductive drive for the Brown and Gold Brigade. At the 45-yard line, you got to stop them somehow, some way. Preferably an interception or a fumble. Braxton Plunk and pistol set. Plunk on a delayed handoff. He is going backwards. He lost a yard or two. Second down and 12. 11 and a half minutes left. Once again, we're not out of the woods. Second down at 12. Shotgun set. You're yelling for the D. Gonna look to pass. Up the middle, pass complete. He is about a yard or two short. That was Manley. Jaden Manley. Mason Lavasser on the tackle. It'll be third Whoops. down and two. Come on, My Jay. mistake. Third down and two. Preferably a sack would be nice. Ten and a half minutes to go. 
Looks like they're loading up here. I expect a run. They will. They hand it off right side, and he is going to break free. There's a holding call. There's a holding call. At least I think a holding. I think that will back him up. At least I think. Let's listen. Holding. Oh, yeah. Wow, number 72, Jared Burris from Robertsville, Minerva High School. They're down at 12. How about that? Good gosh. Yellow jacket fans. Third down at 12. So now they gotta be a little more aggressive out here. By the looks of it, they're gonna pass. Braxton Plunk. On third down and 12. Makes a pass that is incomplete. Fourth down punting time. 10 minutes, one second to go. And again, the Raiders go three and out. Pass Talk it's about a stroke of luck. Darius is right to return this. Elliot Warner is punting this. Coach Hilbert has to be happy with how the second half has gone on defense. Offense, you gotta go. Here we go. We need a blocked punt now more than ever. Here's the snap. And no blocked punt. Darius. Ooh, that was close. He fair caught at the 17. You always get nervous whenever he's not underneath the ball, when he's not directly underneath the ball, because that means that he might fumble it. But fortunately, he did not fumble it. Nine minutes, 55 seconds for a miracle. Cheerleaders are having fun. <laughs> Student section is significantly smaller. Everybody having fun. A touchdown would be sweet, but will it happen is the question. John plays run receiver now. Reese sends. John in motion to the right, five receivers, four receivers to the right, and that was just a terrible pass to John Murray Jr. Pass incomplete, intended for John Murray Jr. Second and ten. Second and ten. I think he got handed off sometime because John Murray Jr.'s had himself a pretty mediocre, decent day. Not mediocre, rather decent. But no, Reese is going to come out passing. 9.52 left in the contest. Tim, yep, moves out at the running back set. Second down, 10. Reese, pass is complete. Up to the 25, 26 yard line. That will be a ball of loss first down at the 27. Jake Novak on the catch. 9.40 left. First down and 10, ball at the 27 yard line. Shotgun set, Reese sends Tim out to the left so you know he's gonna be passing. Waymer looks to throw, lets it fly deep and oh thank God, I thought for sure that was gonna be picked off by Anthony Parker. But fortunately it was not. Darius the intended man on that play. Nine minutes, 11 seconds. Second down at 10. John Murray Jr. is back in. Mountain Union has not given up a rushing touchdown at all this season, which might be why we've been passing. Reese, quick pass, caught by Darius, and that just was not a good idea. Third down and nine. Waver's pass complete to Darius Stokes. 
Tackle on the play by... Less than nine minutes to go. Jenkins. It'll be third down and nine. Here they go. Shotgun set. Running back to the left. Third down nine. Reese looks to pass. Reese zings it up the middle. It is in and out of the hands. Incomplete. No flag. As Mikel went down hard. Fourth down, you have no other choice but to punt. Dylan Kuman in to punt for the Yellow Jackets. Uh, and I heard someone say, why are you punting? I mean, because if you go for it and don't get it, Orient then Mount Finley. Union's got great field position to tuck this game to bat. Josh Jones, back. Two to men set back. back to return it. Coach Hilbert has to be very paranoid and nervous with how this game's been going. Here's a snap. Dylan punts this one on a line. Takes a hop, it rolls to the 34 yard line. 8.25 left. Back to back, three and outs for the Brown and Gold Brigade on defense. Can we continue it? <laughs> First down at 10. Braxton Plunk lines them up in shotgun set. Their offense has been a wall all second half. And he looks to pass, trying to swim. There's a pass, it's picked off, picked off, running. He's down at the 32 yard line. Holy Toledo, I believe that was Mason on the interception. Oh my goodness. We have some life injected back into the good guys. My, oh my. Hold everything. This game is not over. Let's put through his second interception of the day. Come on now. 8 18, our best field positioning of the day. Riz Waver. Looks like he's got to pass it. Just by the formation he's in, I don't know why he's passing. He's yelling to run the ball. First down and 10. Reese Weimer fires it, Tim Cole. Oh my God, that was nearly picked off by number 28, John Rowland. Rowland almost had his second pick of the day. And honestly, these fans are right. You definitely have to run the football. And good, John Murray Jr. is in. Let's run the ball. There we go. But will John be playing running back? Pistol set. Reese Wehmer finally hands it off to John. He is trying to inch his way forward, and that's why we haven't been running it, I guess. A gain of one. John Murray Jr. Third down and on. Not even close to Dean Sears' field goal range, especially considering the fact that he barely made an extra point. Third down and nine. Now you definitely have to pass it. Less than eight minutes to go. Reese had shotgun set. Looks the pass. Feeling pressure. Roll out. Left side. He's got a first down up to the 20. Down to the 19 yard line. First down inside the red zone. Are the good guys. Reese Waver. Some improv right there for a first down. Uh oh. Someone's hurt. Looks to be Anthony Young from Alliance, which is very close to, which is exactly where Mount Union is. Halfway through the fourth quarter, I'm Tommy Maroon for Tommy Maroon Sports Live, reminding you to, whoopsies, remind you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, 
hit the bell icon. It is 17-7. We have a chance to make it a one-score game and perhaps make Mount Union sweat a little bit. The crowd really getting into it now. As number 90, actually, that is Elijah Franklin. Elijah Franklin gets back up. Sorry for the shaky screen. 7.37 left. Therese Weimer did a good job taking off on third down and nine. John Murray Jr. in on this play. Shotgun set halfway through the fourth quarter and Reese is going to be passing. John on the far left. Takes a snap. Looks to throw. Pop fakes. Lobs it deep. That's Jake Novak. That's a flag. And he caught it. Touchdown. 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 Reese Waver. Holy Toledo! What a catch! Yes! Holy Toledo! We're back at it! 17 13! Junior! And this crowd's going crazy out here in Berea! Try to hype up the crowd! Dean Sears for the point after attempt! Low snap, wide drive, he got it. Another bullet that goes right through. Well, we have ourselves a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. 17-14 as this crowd is on their feet. If we win, I'll see you on the trestle field. I will be there with you, my friend. Today is today, I'll be there with you. I pray to the good Lord we come back. Everybody is jumping around. It's like Camp Randall. Had to think a lot of folks left thinking this game's over. Well, let me assure you it's not over yet. If Mountain Union scores a touchdown, then I think it's over. Dean Saris kicking it off as Orion and Mitchell right to return the 719 left. We have all three timeouts. Dean Saris ready to kick this thing off. And it's a deep kick. And into the end zone. Touchback. Oh, if that dad. took a backspin. They don't want that. Can you imagine if that took Here we a, go. Can you imagine if that Let's took go. a backspin? That would have been incredible. Ball well, at the 25. This crowd getting lively now. Seven nineteen left. Braxton Bunk trying to shake off that interception. This crowd going crazy, knowing we can perhaps knock off number two in the nation. Bunk sends a man in motion. It's Manley. Doyle handoff up the middle, and he is stuffed for a gain of one. DeAndre Parker. Got two, actually. It's second down. Excuse me, uh, I'll give you my jacket back. You can keep it for now. Uh, it's his. It's almost the end of the game. It is almost the end of the game. Second down, eight. Shotgun set. Go look to delay it up the middle. DeAndre Parker stuck. Losing a yard. It's third down and nine. Oh, my goodness. They're sweating bullets out here. Third down, nine to go. Come on. Six and a half minutes left. Don't let up, don't let up, let's go. Let's go. Oh no, a 
I'm at 20%. That's horrible. I'm at 20%. Third down. What's the pass? Gotta take off with it. Trip down. He's stripped down. He's stripped down. Fourth down. What are you gonna do? You're gonna put him. That's what you're gonna do. Oh my God. Now everyone knows what can happen. Darius Stokes set back to return this thing. Fourth down at six. Here's a snap. Not blocked. Darius going to let it hop. Roll to the 32 yard line. 68 yards in five minutes and 27 seconds. Oh my goodness. Listen to this place rock and roll. All season long, the Yellow Jackets, we have been riding on the wing and a prayer. And perhaps the school's biggest win in 28 years. Shotgun, John Murray Jr. going to play running back here. First down at 10. Five receivers. Reese Weber, draw play. And he's going to throw it in. That was caught, I believe. Nope, nope, incomplete. 523 showing out of the clock. He got plenty of time. He was looking for Jake on that play. Well, I'm glad he didn't take the sack. And I'm honestly a little glad that was incomplete. Because who knows, that could have been second down and nine or eight. And, you know, clock's running. Second down, Ted for Reese Weimer. Pistol set. Reese heads off to John Murray Jr. John Murray Jr. down to the 36 yard line. 37 yard line. Third down and five. Third down and not that bad. Five minutes left in the game. I am literally shaking, not just because of how exciting this game is, but because of how nervous I am. And because of how cold it is. You got this, let's go! Third down, five to go. And now fans are returning back to the game. Shotgun side for Reese Weimer. Reese looks to throw. Reese with a quick pass. It's caught for a first down to the 47 yard line. It was number 11. Benny Lameo. Benny Lameo on the reception. It's first down at 10. Under four and a half minutes left. Can we knock him off? That would be unbelievable. Three receivers to the right. Four, 14. Reese hands it off to John. Up the middle, gain of about two or three. Second down. Four minutes to go. 17, 14. Ball with Wallace trailing. And you don't need to score a touchdown. All you need is a field goal. But then again, Dean has struggled with his two PATs. Second down at eight. Shotgun set. Reese looking towards the sideline. Bootleg right side juke. Still on his feet, still going. To the 45 yard line. Third down and two. 321 shows on the clock. Good run by Reese Waver. I thought for sure that was going to be bad. I like it. What is with the spots on this freaking field here? We are 45 yards away from taking the lead. Three minutes, three seconds. Reese with another booing up the middle. He is short. He is short. Oh, 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 oh,
I thought he was short. They're going to mark him a yard short. Fourth down and one. There's a whistle. I didn't think he got that. I thought it was half a yard short. Uh, I'll be honest. Than what they got <laughs> yeah, that it should not be fourth and one. It should be fourth and inches. <laughs> Two thirty-six left, and was about a thrilling game. Even if we lose, you got to applaud the comeback effort. Fourth down. And a little bit. They mark him a little closer now. Fourth and inches. 2.36 out of the clock. Come on. Rocco in motion. Hands it off at the middle. First down to the 39-yard line. Let's go. Let's go. 231 left on the clock. Holy Toledo. We are 39 yards away from taking the lead. 2-2-2 two, two, two left. This game has been absolutely insane. Still, you can't, you can't go super slow now. Two ten left. John Murray Jr. is going to be playing running back here, a receiver. Excuse me. Reese going to take off with it. He's still going down at the 37, 36. Plus the two minutes to go in the game. I thought he got four rather than three. Under two minutes left. Jacob Scott from Glen Oak High School on the tackle. Second down, seven to go. Hand off, John Rory, no, Reese Weber keeps it, Reese Weber. What is he doing? It's incomplete. What in the wide world sports? He almost threw away the game. What in the, the wide the world of sports? Is the pass was forward by the quarterback and incomplete. The game clock starts on the snap. Thank God. Third down at seven. Now you got past it, that's for sure. John Murray Jr. playing running or receiver. John Murray Jr. moves to the right, four receivers to the right, and Jeff Dart wants to take a timeout. Here we go. Did Jeff Dart finance his water bed? One can only hope he did. In the words of three year waterman. Let's go! 86 seconds showing on the clock. It was about a candidate for game of the year. Win or lose, this has been phenomenal. <laughs> 36 yards away from scoring. 36 yards away from taking the lead. There's Dean Sears warming up. But we're nowhere near his field goal range. Really? <laughs> but that was like 40 yards. Each school has two timeouts. Both sides going crazy out here. 17-14. Reese Waver moves Tim Conwell to the left. Crowd is going absolutely crazy. Reese Weimer towards the left side and is caught. Jake Novak first down to the 28-yard line. 81 seconds left. 
Oh my God! It's happening! It might be happening! Thank you. First down and 10. Riz Weimer. Four receivers, one tight end. Looks a pass. Big flush. Gonna try to take off with it. His hit sticked after a gain of about one. There is under a minute to play. We have two timeouts. You gotta go no huddle here. You gotta go as quickly as you possibly can. Under 50 seconds showing on the clock. 45, 44, 43. Reese Weber wants to throw. Reese goes for the home run ball. It is gone! First down! First down! First down! First down! First down! Darius Stokes! Darius Stokes! Oh boy, I am stoked! Yes! I am stoked! We might win! Now you can slow it down! Just slow it down! What are we doing passing? Reese, there's a flag. Oh, thank God. That looked like it could have been picked and we jumped. Okay, now you got to There are 33 seconds. Calm down. Yeah, it's five yards. It's five yards. Five yard penalty, first down. Please reset the game clock to 36 seconds. 36 on the clock. clock. Please start the game clock on the snap. We are 12 yards away from taking the lead against the Purple Raiders. First down and goal at the 12. 36 seconds, Jonas Schrock in motion. John Murray Jr., the right back on the right. Man in motion, Reese Weimer wants to throw. Reese, with the man, it is incomplete. And there's a flag, there's a flag, there's a flag, there's a flag. That's their flag, that's their flag, that's their flag, that's their flag. What are you talking about? Clear pass interference. Pass interference. Defense. Yes! The foul occurred in the end zone. The ball moved. The ball was placed at the two-yard line. Oh, oh my God! We're two yards away from doing the impossible. First down. Go to go. Two yards away! Two yards away! Oh my god! Here we go, 31 seconds! Pistol! John Murray Jr. up the middle, did he get it? Here's the yard short, 25, 24, taking a timeout here. 24 seconds left. We are one yard away! Holy Toledo, game of the year. We might win. This is the greatest game I may have ever called. I thought last night was insane. Well, guess what? You ain't seen nothing yet. We are one yard away. OMG is right. One yard, OMG. One yard to go. Crowd's going nuts. 26 seconds left. Can we stun the nation? Second down and goal at the one. Man in motion. Hand off. 
Chamber, touchdown! My, oh my, Dean Sarah, Sandra Bortz is holding. Yeah. He got it! He got it! Yeah. Yeah. Touchdown! Yeah. 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 Touchdown! They need a touchdown! They have two timeouts! Holy cow! Yes, we're, we're all gonna rush the field. We're all gonna rush the field. Yes, I told you. Those goalposts may have seen their last day. Yes, those goalposts may have seen their last days. Kickoff for the twenty. The student section has life ejected he back at us. Dean Sarah's kicking us off for the 20 yard line. Please, dear God, don't let them score. Absolute insanity. We'll see if Dean Sarah Squib kicks it. Nope, he kicks it deep. Fair catch. Fair catch. They need to go 75 yards at 22 seconds. 75 yards at 22 seconds. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Come on. 70. This is your day. 72, 73 yards in 22 seconds. There's John Murray Jr. Reese Waymer resuscitated this BW team. Looks to pass up the middle, caught by Parker. Parker runs right. Parker got first down to the 39, 15 seconds to go. Timeout taken. Play by Mason yeah, time They're down to their last out now. 16. They added an extra second. I don't know why they added an extra second. They want Mountain Union to win this game so badly. Correct. Unless they call a timeout. They have one left. One more timeout to go. Jacket Nation, we need to get rowdy. Let's go! Let's go! Come on, Jesus! 16 go. seconds left. Come on. If Patrick Mahomes could do it in 13 seconds, I can't see how Mountain Union doesn't do it. 
Looks the pass, off the middle, dump off, got me caught. He's gonna try to run out of bounds and run out of bounds, he does. 11 seconds at the 46 yard line. 54 yards and 11 seconds. I think we're gonna rush the field. Yes, I just got a verification, yes. Looks the pass, dump off. Caught, gonna try to run out of bounds. He's up to the 50, 49. Four seconds, this is it, this is it, this is it. To quote Eminem, one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever want. Yes, that was their first rushing touchdown against them. One opportunity. We're gonna jump around. <laughs> Holy cow. The greatest game perhaps I have ever seen. 21 17. We're hyped. Get hyped at home, folks. Get on your feet. It's not over. It's not over. Four seconds to go. We said everybody. We said everybody's back. This has team one atmosphere. They're going to rush the field. Looks to pass. He's four strikes. He's going for a dunk. We miss it short. It's short. And it's. The ruling on the field is a completed catch for a touchdown by Mount Union. Time expired. Mount Union has won the game. I have never seen anything like that. I, I think I'm going to be sick. I think I'm going to throw up. We just lost. Last play of the game. Mount Union somehow escapes. And the hopes and dreams of an upset were too good to be true. Oh my God. That's SC top 10, isn't it? Oh my God, Mount Union won. Fans are staying in the stands. Nobody can believe what just happened.
Nobody can believe what just happened. I can't believe what just happened. The final score today is Mount Union wow. 23, Baldwin Wallace 21. I'm speechless. Thank you for attending today's game. The football program and its student athletes would like to thank you for your support all season long. We look I'm forward speechless. to seeing you right back here in Philly Stadium for the 2023 season opener against Mount St. Joseph University on September 2nd. Again, thank you for attending, and please drive home oh safely. Oh, my God. I thought we were going to rush the field. I'll be honest. It's a bluegrass miracle all over again. Devery Henderson makes the crazy catch off the deflection. Oh, my God. I don't believe it. I, I don't believe it. I don't believe what I'm looking at right now. That was the craziest standing I've ever seen and Mount Union wins. Mount Union 23, Ball Walls 21. Oh my God. Oh my God. It was too good to be true. Too good to be true. Mount Union wins in the most unlikeliest way I could possibly think of. They are thrilled, they are hyped, they are everything. And a stark contrast on our sideline. There will not be a field rush. There will not be hugs and kisses and dancing and celebrating. It's just going to be stunned silence. Mount Union wins. Mount Union 23, Ball Walls 21.